Hi guys, I haven't done a video on ACCA matters for a while, but today I will cover how to pass ACCA exams using accountancy only. My name is Agnes and I cover ACCA topics on my channel. Not the knowledge wise, but the tips and tricks on how to pass it and how to manage the life while you are ACCA student. I've been there, I've done it, I'm a member of ACCA from 2019 and I want to share my tips and tricks on how to become a member of ACCA. Today's video is in response of a specific question which I have been asked from one of my subscribers. Thank you for sending the question over and if you guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to post them because I'm willing to help you out guys on this journey because I know how difficult it is. And just a short disclaimer, I have not been paid or rewarded in any way to shoot this video. This is entirely based on my own opinion because I found the platform to be so helpful, so useful, so good that I wanna really encourage you guys to use it because it will make your life so much easier as a student. So let me just begin with what is accountancy? Some of you might already know, and if you do, skip over to the next chapter. But accountancy is an online on-demand platform that teaches you on ACCA matters. So if you as a student going through exams, the accountancy platform is where you would find a study resource. It's free to register and the written material is free of charge. The online classes are paid, but it's so inexpensive compared to other online tuition. So it really is no brainer why so many students use it across the world. In all honesty, this is the only resource that you really need. Its founder, Richard Clark, is also a tutor with many years of experience and he teaches every single paper. So he really knows his stuff. He understands how ACC works because he also was a marker on many of the exams. Why should you choose accountancy? It is a simplified study material. It follows ACCA syllabus. It's inexpensive. It follows latest developments and gets regularly updated. It also is ACCA approved learning provider. What does that mean is that ACCA has recognized how good Richard's classes are that is giving them the stamp of ACCA approved learning provider. Now this is a big thing because when I used to study Richard didn't have that stamp yet but now it has it. Another very good thing about it is when you sign up to an online tuition for that one particular paper you get six months of membership. So as you know the ACCA exams are every three months so you get six months membership. In case you were to fail the paper you can carry on studying using this material. It also covers SEMA and it also has the approved learning provider from SEMA. So it really is full-on accountancy platform where you can learn everything that you need in order to pass your exams. So as I promised, I wanna give you all the tips how to actually use the platform. So these are the tips of how I use the accountancy platform. You may find that some of them don't quite work with you, but I just wanna share how I used to do it and it used to get me free exams. So I guess it worked, but everyone has a different learning style. So my learning style might not necessarily be suitable for you, but I hope some of the tips will be very useful for you. So let's begin with it. To begin with, you're gonna have to sit down and decide how much time you actually have before the exam. I would recommend minimum of two months of studies. And this is if you really are serious about it and you set the time aside to study. The best thing is to get like a little calendar and just schedule the time that you can study. Now, another tip that I wanna give you is that you have to study every single day. No matter how much time you're going to spend on that day studying, please do study every day because not only that will help you to get through the material faster, but also you provide small chunks of knowledge every single day and you're more likely to remember it. This is what accountancy practice uses. They use the science of study. They know how our brain works because of which it distributes really small chunks of lessons on demand. So you sit down and go through a two minute lesson, four minute lesson, some lessons are even 10 minutes, but it really isn't that long. And what is also convenient about it, that when you then have family life, for example, or you have to manage the life and work and study balance, it is easy to sometimes, perhaps when you're sitting at home with your children, they're running around, you just open on a tablet or laptop accountancy and listen to what Richard say. But let me get on with how to pass the ACC exams using accountancy platform. To begin with, you're gonna have to register and it's free to do. The subscription work on, as I've explained, six months basis. You buy yourself an access to an online classes and also to the revisions. They are included in the price. 
The subscription cost as of today £159. Now this is really inexpensive. So since I found accountancy, I've stuck to it and it has not disappointed. I'm not saying I never failed using accountancy. I have because I just did not put enough time and I was one or two marks off, which happens a lot. If you guys have failed ever the exam, you know my pain and I have talked about it in my previous videos. I would post the link in the description below on how to get motivated if you fail the ACCA exams. It is hard. I've been there, I've done it, so I feel you. But anyway, I digress. Let me get back on to what you do next. So once you have purchased the subscription, the next thing you've got to do is to start studying. So how I used to do it, I used to every single day, as I've mentioned, it is important to do it every day. I used to sit down and open class by class. So you have a little doors. Every part of the syllabus is covered within a classrooms. So you open the classrooms and you open every single door of it and you study. I used to listen to the lesson first, take my own notes. And if I did not quite understand what was it all about, I would rewatch it. So the important thing to do after every few classes, depending how long it takes you to cover, for example, one syllabus, I wouldn't leave it as long as till the end of the syllabus cover. I would perhaps every four or five days, I would recap on what you've studied. So go back to your notes and just make sure you reread it. You reread the main, main points that you have studied because that will help you memorize. Remember, our brain is designed to actually forget things, not to memorize it. This is why we have to really force it to remember things and by recapping and by remembering or rereading things that we've written it will be easier for you to remember things now after you have covered each syllabus so for example syllabus a has you finished and you covered it in three days go to test center in the test center you will find very easy activities to follow and you can test yourself. So whether you have five, 15 or 30 minutes, you can just select the time that you have available and just go through the quizzes. It's a really simple way of recapping and it does test your knowledge, which is very, very useful for your brain to again, remember things that you've learned. Now, once you covered all of the syllabus and you recap and you've done the quizzes, go to revision center. And what I did like about the revision is that it really follows the structure and covers the most important topics. So you have learned everything, you have learned everything that syllabus requires you to learn, but the revision would be focused on the main important topics and maybe a bit more complicated topics that are harder to understand. Because if something is harder to understand, we tend to push aside and not learn it so much. And those that are easier, we tend to recap more. So focus on those things that you don't understand and those that are harder for you to grasp because these are the topics that you really need to focus on more because they likely to come up on the exam. It always happened to me if I didn't remember something very well, it ended up coming up on the exam and it's frustrating because then it's those two marks that you missed off that exam and you fail. So I want you to avoid doing that and try to study those things that are the hardest for you. So once you've gone through the revision pyramid, then it's time to start doing the exam papers. And you have two options here, well actually three. The first option is go through the exam center and in the exam center, there is very nicely laid down structured papers from the past papers or from the pilot papers. And you just follow the question. You have answers given to you as well. Study them through, see what you've answered. Try to answer it yourself first and then test yourself and check the answers that were there. It also has a marking guide, so it's really nicely laid out. The second option is to print out the past papers. It was easier for me to actually have those papers in front of me. So I used to print at least two and a half to three years worth of past papers. And that would help me to go through every single paper. Now, everyone has a different way of testing themselves and going to those past papers. What I used to do if I had enough time to say, I wouldn't leave it till very, very end of the revision, but I, perhaps I would leave two weeks to just go through the past papers. And within those two weeks, I would go through the questions. So I'll try to answer the whole book question by question. So once I would do one question, I would then compare it to the answers. Remember the answers given in the model answers are fully comprehensive. They would never expect you to write what's on those answer papers because they have to give you the whole insight of the knowledge and the scenario. The answers you would come up with would never match those answers. So don't get discouraged thinking, oh my God, I would never be able to answer that kind of answer. It would never come to my brain. And especially under the time pressure, you would never answer as comprehensive as to what they've answered. However, this is just to give you the guidance of how the 
ideal answer would look like. If I had very little time, say I would have only a few days to go through my past papers, I would read the question with the scenario and then I would read the answer to it. So I would try to understand why did they answer it that way, compare it to what perhaps I would think, but I wouldn't bother writing it down because it does take time. If you guys are interested in my study technique in how to cover the past papers, I can actually sit down and explain it to you. If you're getting any value from this video, I would love you to like it. Now let's go to the option three, which is the hybrid option, which is using a bit of test centers and a bit of exam papers, past exam papers, because you may not want to print everything. You may just want to do it through accountancy. You really don't have to really print the past papers. It is up to you. I just found it the easier way to study and to make sure that I prepare for these exams. So these were all of my tips in terms of using the accountancy. Now there is two more things that I would like you to do before you go to the exam center. One being reading the examiner report. Why is this important? It is important because the examiner points out on the biggest mistakes that students make. And if you don't pick up on it, and if you don't read it, you are likely to make those mistakes yourself. So by learning from other people's mistakes, you're likely to avoid your own. And the final tip that I want to give you is to read the technical articles. I recommend reading those articles about two or three days before the exam. The reason being because these are usually on the latest developments. And what happens is the examiner, if there is something new happening, likes to test us on it. So do make sure you have read two or three articles at least. And if that knowledge is still fresh, I'm not saying memorize it, just read it and try to understand what's it all about. Because it did happen to me that I read the examiner report two days before the exam. And when I went to sit it, the examiner actually asked some of the information from that report. It does happen often that they do ask. So it's important that you don't miss out on those few points that you can easily score. That is all when it comes to tips. I would like to wish you good luck on your exam, on your next coming exam. And I really hope this has helped you to perhaps decide to purchase accountancy subscription. If not, I would still recommend you at least logging in for free and having a feel yourself. What do you think about the platform? I think it's really fun because obviously accountancy introduces funny cows to help us on our ACC journey in such a kind of daunting subject, which accountancy can be, is just a little bit of fun to help us get through it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have, I would love you to subscribe to my channel for more tips like that and many other things that is going on in my life that I post on my channel. And I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye.